I never thought picking out a GoPro vlogging rig would be so hard. I wrecked my brain over all the different combinations of Ulanzi products and finally came up with a perfect setup. I'm Mike and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outdoors. And if you do too, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss any future videos. The reason I wanted a GoPro vlogging rig was to upgrade my audio. The audio in the Hero 8 and the 9 is it's pretty good, but it's still nowhere near as good as if you had a lapel mic on. So I did a bunch of research and finally arrived that I wanted the Rode Wireless Go microphone setup. It got great reviews, and I gotta tell you, I'm loving it so far. I've tested it a couple times in some windy conditions, and having the lapel mic with the GoPro is a perfect setup. In order to connect this Rode Wireless Go, I needed to come up with some sort of way to connect it to the GoPro. And there's really two options. The first option is the Hero 8 or Hero 9 Media Mod that has the audio jack in it, or go with the $50 three and a half inch GoPro audio adapter. So I decided to go with the adapter. And the reason I went with the adapter is because it seems like it's kind of future proof for now at least. It works in the Hero 8 and it works in the Hero 9, hopefully the Hero 10, whereas the GoPro Media Mod only works in the Hero 8 and they changed the body type so it doesn't work in the Hero 9. I also watched a bunch of videos where it was kind of clunky to take the Media Mod apart to reset the battery and everybody knows GoPros crash and you need to reset the battery. I thought this was a pretty good solution. So I wanted my setup to be simple and light. I use my GoPro to vlog on trails and a lot of times I'm putting it in my jacket or on my pack and you know I didn't want some big bulky rig to weigh me down while I'm on a trail. There's two main options for this GoPro rig. There's the Ulanzi G85 which is their metal version and then there's the Ulanzi G89 which is the plastic version. These are for the GoPro Hero 8 if you have a GoPro Hero 9, they also have a metal version, which is pretty much identical to this version. And then they have a plastic version that has a few upgrades that I'll talk about. I watched a bunch of YouTubes and probably 98% of them recommended the G85. And I found very few reviews of the G89, which is the plastic version of this. So my first reaction when I took the G85 out of the box was, man, this is heavy. This kind of more than doubles the weight of your GoPro. And that's pretty much what all the YouTube said as well. So wait aside, there's a bunch of things I like about the G85. Number one, it's metal. It's, it's super durable. It seems like it could really take a lot of abuse. And people say that the uh, aluminum body actually sheds heat in hot weather. That's okay in hot weather, but I live in Western New York and we get cold weather and I vlog in very cold weather. And I, f I found that the GoPro is pretty susceptible to cold. The battery kind of just shuts down after it gets too cold. I was out just for a very short hike, three miles in like 32, 33 degree weather using this cage. The battery seemed to shut off way quicker than it did in like colder conditions in the Adirondacks. So I don't have any scientific proof of it, just anecdotal, but I think the actual aluminum body prematurely shut it off in the cold. So what I like about the G8 5 is it's really machined well. Everything kind of snaps together really nice. It has the quarter inch thread on the bottom, so you can fit it onto any kind of tripod that has a screw. And if you don't have that set up, it does come with the standard GoPro mount that just kind of screws on the bottom here. The things that I like about this cage, it has that 52 millimeter lens adapter. So you could put on a UV filter to protect the lens or an ND filter. It also has two cold shoes and this extension to make it so you can put a big dead cat on this side. So now things that I don't like about the G85. Uh, the first thing is this door. Uh, it comes off, number one, and it's kind of in the way of the cable. You have to put your adapter way over to the one side. There is a screw that holds it in place, so you can do that and it will stay there. Um, but even if it's over all the way to the side, this cable still gets in your way when you have your inevitable GoPro crash and you have to get in here and reset your battery. 
That's kind of cumbersome. Also, I lost this door in my house. It's black and was sitting on the floor and it took us 45 minutes to find it before filming this video. The only advantage of the door actually coming off is you can still use the standard GoPro door and get your GoPro back to waterproof and still use this cage for protection. One thing that people didn't really talk about in some of the other reviews of the G85 is the access to the buttons. The top one isn't bad, but the power button's a little bit depressed and protected by the aluminum, and it's a little bit hard to push. I didn't realize how hard it was to push until I put it in the G89. The buttons on the G89 are just a little bit easier to access. So now let's talk about the plastic G89. And it is very light and doesn't add a whole lot of bulk or weight to the GoPro, but it's plastic. And you know, it's probably not as durable as its metal counterpart, but it is gonna protect your GoPro if it does fall. So what I really like about the plastic version is the battery access. You just have to unclip the adapter and then this door opens and as you can see it hinges down so it pushes that cord away and you can very easily access the battery to reset the GoPro and then that just snaps back together. It's much quicker to reset that battery plus you're never going to lose that door on the trail or in the dark because you popped it off and you can't find it. However that is a downfall is you can't use the standard GoPro door to make it waterproof while still using this cage. The G89 does come with a 52 millimeter lens adapter. It actually snaps on the front of this and pops off so you can use it without the lens adapter. What's also nice is it comes with a lens cover for the standard GoPro lens so you can protect your lens while you're traveling or storing it in your backpack. I really like that feature. G89 only has one cold shoe mount, which is kind of a disadvantage over the metal version that has two cold shoe mounts. So that's another thing they improved with the Hero 9. They actually made this removable piece two cold shoes. So you get one on the top and one on the side. Ulanzi actually makes a cold shoe adapter that has three cold shoes on it. I don't really have the need for it because really I only want to mount my Rode Wireless Go. Maybe I'll have a light or something like that in the future, but probably not. I want to keep it light and simple. One of the other differences between the two cases is this guy just has the integrated GoPro mount. It's not removable like the metal counterpart, so you don't get that quarter inch screw. That would have been nice to have, but um, it also doesn't add any bulk or height to it, so it's kind of a trade-off for me. I'm okay using a, an adapter for my tripod. So for me, I wanted to keep it simple and light. I'm gonna end up going with the G89, the plastic version, uh, because I do like that door and I like the, the weight of it. So to finish off the rig, I needed a selfie stick. I looked at the Ulanzi MT-08 and the Ulanzi MT-09. They're very similar. However, there is a couple different differences. The MT-08 has this uh, movable ball on top that goes to 90 degrees. It also has that quarter inch screw on top, whereas the MT-09 is more like the GoPro Shorty that just has the GoPro mount on it. Both of them are retractable and have tripods on it. So I decided to go with simple. I, I like the light cage, which only has the integrated GoPro mount. So having a selfie stick that only has a GoPro mount was okay. Um, you know, the advantage of this is I could use it with a cell phone adapter or a different camera, but I was okay with just, you know, a strictly GoPro setup. It makes it small and compact, and with the lighter cage, it's okay. It's not top heavy, even with the Rode Wireless Go adapter and the three and a half inch adapter, it's still not top heavy like this metal cage was. I was a little worried putting it down on the trail and it would just kind of tip over. So I think this is really the, the best solution for me. So one of the other advantages of the MT-09 having the integrated GoPro mount is when you actually just have the GoPro on the selfie stick, it's a super compact, super light, solution really really easy to use will be easy to put into my bag or into my jacket when i'm hiking so at the end of the day i went with light and simple i went with the ulanzi g89 plastic cage 
and the MT-09 selfie stick. It was the most compact, the lightest, and had the fewest moving parts. I knew it was going to be the simplest to use and would be pretty reliable on the trail. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you want to see other gear reviews, how to's or outdoor adventures, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.